Wow, our first AEW pay-per-view, double or nothing. What is up, everyone? This is a dude who, who is going to predict nine matches on the card. It was used to be 10, but then apparently Pac is too scared to lose to Hangman Adam Page, which I will get to that later in this video. So we got two matches on the pre-show called The Buy-In. First up, let's talk about Kip Sabian versus Sammy Guevara. And from what I heard about Kip Sabian, he actually made his cameo appearance on the movie called Fighting With My Family, which actually shocks me though. And I've heard the name Sammy Guevara before and he's a decent wrestler. And I'm glad that AEW is bringing some new stars and some big names, but not lots of big names like Hulk Hogan, brother. I'm glad they didn't brought in. Otherwise, look what happened to TNA Impact Wrestling. So, Kip Sabian versus Sammy Guevara. So I've seen the press conference earlier tonight, and I'm thinking that Kip Sabian will win this match. As you can see that Sammy gave Kip Sabian a low blow. So this could be a big win for Kip Sabian. And next up, we got the 21 man battle royal. And here are the rules. So the name of this match is actually called Casino Battle Royale, considering it's taking place at MGM Grand Garden Arena. And we got 21 wrestlers, and we gotta start with five random men. And every three minutes, a, a new wave or new round of five men enters. And then you got one person will get a lucky number 21 and he will enter last and the battle royal entry numbers picked it at the later date so if you have seen the episode of being the elite you have seen those wrestlers picking out a card which obviously they're going to be entering the battle royal and you never know what number they're on and unlike sean spears he could be number 10. irony right not only that Sean Spears has been announced for the Battle Royal, you got Sony Kiss, Brandon Cutler, Ace Romero, Glacier, Brian Pillman Jr., Sunny Days, MJF, Joey Janela, Dustin Thomas, Billy Gunn, Jimmy Havoc, Michael Nakasawa, Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, Mark Queen, and Isa Cassidy. And 17 people have been announced and four people hasn't been announced yet. So I'm guessing that one of those four uh, missing names or could be one of the big names because it could be John Moxley. It could be somebody that we don't know or it could be a former WWE superstar or it could be a legendary wrestler. So who knows? So the winner will receive a future AEW World Championship match against either Chris Jericho or Kenny Omega. And I mean, oh my god. Anybody who's gonna win this battle royal is going to face the greatest wrestler in this generation. And I'm gonna say, it has to be a big name. Cause if it has to be somebody with a big name, we're, all of us could be investing this company. I'm guessing that, well, it could be John Moxley because he's one of the big names who could be making a surprise entry for Double or Nothing. So, it, you know what? Instead of John Moxley, I'm going to have to say anybody who is a big name for this company will win this battle royal and face one of the two greatest wrestlers. On to the main car. So, we got... SoCal Uncensored, SCU, Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, and Scorpio Sky. And I gotta say, I am actually a fan of these three because I actually watch Being the Elite also. And they also made one of the best catchphrases like, This is the worst town I've ever been in. They're facing against Strong Hearts, Shima, T Hawk, and L. Linderman. So I'm guessing this could be an exciting match to see these two teams. And I'm guessing that SoCal Uncensored will win this six man tag team match. So next up, we got uh, Best Friends, 
Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta taking on Angelico and Jack Evans. And originally, best friends were supposed to be entering the 21 man casino battle royal, but then if you have seen being the elite episodes, Trent Beretta wanted to be on the main card instead. So yeah, they're in a tag team match player on the main card. So I'm guessing that the best friends will win this tag team match. Next up, we got a six Japanese woman tag team match. And before you rant this, I apologize that I do not know any of these Japanese woman wrestler because I don't know anything about it. But I do watch New Japan though, but I don't know anything about like Pro Wrestling Noah or any other Japanese company except for New Japan Pro Wrestling, which I apologize for that. But I do know who Aja Kongu is because I know her when she wrestled for WWF a long time ago. And here's a fun fact. She was supposed to face Alundra Blaze at the Royal Rumble, but then if you have seen WCW Nitro, you've seen that Alundra Blaze threw her woman's title in the garbage can, thus the end of the women's division in WWF. Nonetheless, I'm picking a Aja Kongu's team. Next up, we got Brother vs. Brother, American Nightmare, Cody vs. Dustin Rhodes. And this match, it should have been happening in WWE because instead, you got Goldust vs. Stardust. Ugh. Man, I never liked Stardust gimmick at all. So for some reason, WWE doesn't want to have Brother vs. Brother. Well, at least we got Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy, which actually pulled that one off. But we wouldn't want to see Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. And remember Nikki Bella versus Brie Bella back in 2014? Yeah, that could be one of the most forgettable sibling rivalries in professional wrestling. As what Cody stated in this interview, this could be Dustin Rhodes' last match. So. Indeed, in this match, I think Cody is going to win this match. Next up, we got a three-way match between Britt Baker versus Nyla Rose versus Kylie Ray. And I actually know who Britt Baker is because she is dating Adam Cole. Not only that, I've seen her wrestle at All In and uh, ROA Ring of Honor. And I'm looking forward to see how great this women's division is. And I'm gonna predict that, well, I want Britt Baker to win, but instead I'd rather see a big woman like Nyla Rose who's gonna win this three-way match. Next up, we got double main event. Nah, the final main event is Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega, so I'm gonna get to that later. So, we got the Young Bucks, Nick Ku Jackson and Mako Jackson. Sorry I say it in Japanese, but they're facing against the Lucha Bros, Pentagon Jr. or Penta L0M and Phoenix. And this tag team match is gonna be for the AAA World Tag Team Championship. Oh great! You know what's funny? Is that this is the only championship match happening at Double or Nothing. And yeah, so the Young Bucks are the current AAA World Tag Team Champions and they are the Executive Vice Presidents also and I don't think they'll be holding on again anytime soon so I guess they'll drop the title to the Lucha Bros cause there's no point for him to have the titles like really like I get it that we want we all wanted to see all the members of the Elite winning their first match at AEW but I'm guessing this isn't gonna happen in this case so yeah the Lucha Bros are gonna walk out with the AAA World Tag Team Championships and I'm excited that this is go this match is going to be awesome I mean look at the Young Bucks one of the greatest tag team in professional wrestling not in the WWE so let's get on to the main event shall we so we got Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega. However, the winner will face the Casino Battle Royal winner for the, in a future AEW World Championship match. And if you have seen one of the videos from All Elite Wrestling on YouTube, you see the sneak peek of the World Championship review. So I'm hoping that they'll review it at double or nothing. 
could be. So, this is the second time that these two are gonna face each other. Because the last time they these two faced each other was at Wrestle Kingdom 12 when Kenny Omega defended his IWGP United States Championship against the GOAT, Chris Jericho. And this is the second time that these two are gonna face off. So I honestly want Chris Jericho to win, but then I remember that he's going to face Kazuchika Okada at Dominion next month for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Kenny Omega is going for the AEW World Championship. So he's gonna win the number one contender with what WWE said. So it's gonna be an exciting AEW pay per view, right? So. What are your predictions for AEW Double or Nothing? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Oh yeah, not to mention that Hangman Page won't be wrestling at Double or Nothing because Pac is a pussy and he doesn't want to lose to a Hangman. And just like when he was in WWE, he doesn't want to lose to a rapper wannabe. No wonder why he didn't want to lose and he wants to be undefeated. Yeah, yeah, why don't you quit Dragon Gate and drop that title you have and go join New Japan Pro Wrestling. Because from what I heard, he actually quit AEW, which confirm, I guess. Oh, so yeah, Pac should go to New Japan and join the Bullet Club because this team will always fits for him and it's always open for him. So with that being said, thanks for watching this prediction video. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe for more content, and tap that little bell so you don't want to miss an upload. And yeah, AEW Double or Nothing is going to be an exciting pay-per-view show. So, peace and good day. <laughs>